Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. But if it was magic that caused the blight, what of the Mother Crystals? I expect he'll turn us soon enough. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. 
land is pure as driven snow. Valisthea. There would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution. The illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate. To start afresh. With a new world. The one for which Barnabas labored. A paradise free from the blight where his god awaits. And where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. But we're one and the same.
is that? Ifrit. Or what's left of him. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends, my family, we have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed. It may be broken. But it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. It's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. 